today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that happened recently. Basically, I went to a Five Sauce concert and I snuck into the pit. Rebel, I know. And just a disclaimer. I'm not encouraging you to do this. It was just me being stupid. If I would have gotten caught, like I literally don't know what I would have done, so... Yeah, unless the security of the venue you're going to are as stupid as they were at mine. This probably wouldn't even work at a majority of venues because they definitely know what they're doing. So I'm not going to say which show I went to just because, like, I don't I, I don't want to risk anything. Five Sauce, if you're watching this, please don't blacklist me. So my parents and my brother and me and a friend were all road tripping it to this location. It's like a three hour drive to this place. So at, like, around, like, 2, 3 p.m., we, like, pull up to this weird ass place literally in the middle of no nowhere like it was like all yeehaw it was scary and so we get there and we start walking around and we're like seeing all these people um what i'm about to say literally has nothing to do with the fact that i snuck into pit but like enjoy me talking about soundcheck anyway so we get to this area where there's a dumpster and there's a wall like right behind the dumpster and so we all climb up it was like me and like 10 other people i feel like i need to justify the fact that i was standing on a dumpster like no normal person just stands on a dumpster to watch their favorite band. I, But it was worth it. I'm not gonna lie. We're standing on top of this wall behind the dumpster. And we're watching them sound check. They're just like warming up their guitars and stuff. Out of nowhere, they start playing If You Don't Know. <laughs> if You Know Me. If You Don't Know is like my OG like fave vibes off song. And so I'm standing there and I'm like, I just start hearing the beginning of If You Don't Know, like the guitar part. Yeah, they started singing If You Don't Know. They warmed it up like five times, so I got to hear it multiple times. God really said, You know what, Lily? You deserve this today. For the actual sound check, they kicked us off the dumpster, so we were just standing like underneath the dumpster. And then they closed this gate, so we couldn't see through, but whatever. We couldn't really hear them talking, but once they started singing If You Don't Know again, and then talk fast, we could hear them. So that was cool. And so while we were sitting there, we met these girls who had pit. Before I get into this, I'm just going to give you the backstory of mine and Riley's plans. Riley's the girl who I went, by the way. Our original seats were like 20th row on the floor, on Michael's side. Nothing against Michael, I love him, but I wanted to be on Callum's side. <laughs> we had a few ideas. Our first one was to Photoshop fake ticket and then like just change the seat numbers and like the sections on our tickets. On our way down, Ticketmaster actually released like a bunch of third row seats on Callum's side. So we started photoshopping all these tickets, like we had them screenshotted. And we were like, okay, perfect. This is like one of our plans. And then our next plan was to buy fake wristbands. So when Riley came to my house before we left to go to this location, we literally walked all over God's creation to try and find these event wristbands. We thought the color was going to be yellow, and the wristband color is actually green, so I'm glad we didn't end up getting any or finding any. So we met these two girls, and, and they were so nice. We were just talking about a lot of things. And we were like asking, oh, where are you guys sitting? And they were like, we have pit. And then we were like, oh, we have seats. And then we were talking about how we were going to buy fake wristbands to like try and sneak in and all this stuff. Like, oh, like we have pits, so maybe we can help you. This girl sitting behind us, there were three of them. They came up and they were like, wait, we heard what you guys are talking about. Like, we have fake wristbands. Like, we're trying to. Can we all like be a team? It was five of us who didn't have pit, but we're trying to get it. Pit at this venue only held like 400 people. It was really tiny and it wasn't even full. We're all like sorting out like what our plan is going to be right when doors open. Me and the other girls were like, okay, well, we're going to use the bathroom first and then we'll come back and like figure out what we're going to do. We really didn't know what we were going to do until we were inside the venue. So we scan our regular tickets and we walk in and then the two girls who had pit go into the pit and they get situated. So me and my friend like, okay, what if we just get screenshots of their tickets, go back to where they're giving wristbands out and say we forgot to get our wristbands. So they sent us the screenshots. And us, me and Riley were like, okay, we'll go first. Like, if it doesn't work, then we can try your fake wristbands. Walk back to the security guards. And these people working literally looked like 15 or 16 years old. Just a side note, I'm around the same age as they looked. So, like, I wasn't scared at all. Like, I didn't really care. Like, I didn't think they were going to be mean or anything. Like, they definitely did not know what was up. And I was like, hi, like, we scanned our tickets earlier. We have pit. We just forgot to grab our wristbands. Like, we didn't see you guys. We showed them both the tickets, and they were like, Oh my gosh, like, of course. We're so sorry for the inconvenience. Like, they apologized to us. And they gave us the wristbands, and so we, like, ran back to other three girls, and we're like, it worked. We sent them the text, the same screenshots of the same two tickets. And a few minutes later, they come running back with their wristbands. We're like, perfect. Easily, we all walked down into the pit. I've never walked with such pride. I'm, like, walking by these security guards, and I'm like, Hello, here's my wristband. Goodbye. And my parents... They were at the location too. They knew we were trying to <laughs> get in a pit. My like cousins who I hadn't seen since I was like four years old were at the concert too. And apparently like my parents found out on Facebook and so they were coming to find me. 
at my original seats and then I texted my mom and I was like, like oh, well, we're in pit. she was like call me and I called her and she put me on speaker for my whole family to hear like how I did this they were like proud of me I was like yeah thanks they didn't care at all they just said don't get arrested um yeah one more thing my cousins never found me so and that was basically all that happened we were like fourth or fifth row it was amazing karma did get me though because I have this like horrible fear of people throwing up around me it's so bad young blood the girl in front of me decides to puke everywhere i really have never ran so fast in my life i ran to the back of the pit and i get to my car and my brother's throwing up everywhere and he threw up the whole entire car ride home so that was my karma thank you it was worth it though like me there tour was the best set list the way that the songs were ordered just felt right being that close to callum for like so long was just so great babylon live that went off <laughs> I had literally the best night, like I wanted to go to more dates because two more dates were coming closer to me but I couldn't go because of school and cheer interfering with them so that sucked. Next tour I'm planning on going to quite a few shows with a bunch of my friends. Also Jingle Ball is coming up and I'm like 99% sure they're going to Philly and if they come to DC then I'm going to go to DC, if they go to Philly then I'm going to Philly.